Yep, there's that waterfall. It is absolutely gorgeous when it is working. Of course, it is pretty now with all the rock, but uh, hopefully we'll get this thing going for them today. If not, we'll get their pump out for them and um, they can get their course up and going again. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. But you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now I've got doing another salvage job today. We actually got an intake repair job we're doing. And this is one that we used to do several times a year because the intake would uh, become damaged, wouldn't take up water. And basically where we're at, we're at a golf course, if you can't tell. And right over here behind this tree, is a waterfall we've done plenty of videos here before showing you when the waterfall is working when it's not working what we've got to do to repair it um but a couple of years ago we ended up putting a snorkel on the intake where it just kind of comes up in the water column so that it wouldn't take on too much dirt silt mud leaves debris things like that well unfortunately it still took it on and all that debris has kind of stopped the pump from working. So we're gonna get in, do a quick inspection of it, see what we need to do to uh, clear it up. If that doesn't work and it still won't work, then we're gonna have to, of course, disassemble it underwater, lift it up with bags, and then bring it on land so that the repair crew can actually fix the pump, and then we'll get it reinstalled for them. And there would be our dive site. You can kind of see that black pop coming down through field area there go straight down in the water and about six or seven foot right in there is where the intake is we're going to go down see the condition of it see if we can get her fixed for them if not we'll disassemble it bring it up let them repair it and then either today or another day we'll go back in and reassemble it underwater all right guys we're going to jump right into this salvage or this uh intake inspection if you will we tend to call everything salvage because that's how we ring it up in the system but this is really just an inspection uh if we end up pulling an intake system out then that's where we classify it as a salvage just in case you guys were wondering but uh first thing we got to do is get down in the creek now we've actually not been to this site in a couple of years because of the uh, recent innovation that was uh, performed on it if you will um, or the recent upgrade where they put a snorkel on which helps keep a lot of the debris out of the system so we're trying to find a good place to get down in the creek normally there's several access points but since we've not been here in a couple of years everything's kind of grown up as you can see um, and so we're gonna have to find the safest place to kind of scale down this little embankment here to get into the water now sometimes we will use a rope or some type of pulley system to lower our gear down first um, but as you can see here briefly we've got a good little uh, step down here in just a second now when you do work like this you want to be careful there is poison ivy there are briars you can damage your gear so that's that's one of the reason that we wear the suits that we wear simply because it stays protected even from harsher environments like that plus it protects us too but once we get down in the water, we're just going to do one final gear check, which we do before every single dive. We just make sure everything's good to go. And then uh, we're going to walk out to the site. Now, normally this water yeah. is ripping. The current through here is usually very, very fast. We barely have a current here today, which makes the working conditions uh, decent for us. Uh, however, the visibility is not going to be so decent because uh, it doesn't take much to stir it up. This is a creek. This is not a pond or a lake or anything like that, but this is a creek. And so usually a little bit faster current than this is what we actually like, um, but we don't have that benefit today. So our visibility is not going to be quite as great, but the good news is we have serviced this intake. We have inspected this intake more times than I can count. So. Uh, we've got a pretty good idea of what we're dealing with when we go underwater. Uh, now, the first thing that I notice is I'm still above water. Normally, this hole is anywhere between six to eight foot deep, and of course, I'm just a short little five foot seven. So, normally, I would be either floating there right now, or if I was on the bottom, I would be basically underwater. But as you can tell, I'm not. I'm only about chest deep water here, and uh, that. This is the first indication that everything's filled in. They've had so much sand and seal and mud washed down the stream. And so I've already got a pretty good idea that this, this intake is going to be completely covered up 
in in sand and um, a lot of times on inspections like this we can usually tell right off the bat yeah it needs to be dredged it needs to be replaced um, and that's that's the situation we found ourselves in without even going underwater I can already tell you this this whole entire system needs to be dredged out this whole little corner of this creek is going to have to be dredged uh, which does take time now we do have a dredge that can do this unfortunately our hoses are not long enough so uh, right off the bat we're going to go ahead and recommend that the golf course rinse a dredge with longer hoses and then of course we'll come in and do all the, the heavy labor for them but we're going to fix to go underwater here in just a second and do an inspection of the snorkel the intake itself the sled the coupling that connects to the intake pipe and a whole nine yards and just do a normal inspection like we would and i'll kind of walk you through that as we go down um, but like i said normally it's a lot clearer here because the current's usually ripping we barely have a current today and so you can see the water moving but it's nowhere near what it used to be but as we go down this first thing we're going to come across of course is the snorkel now this snorkel is nothing more than just a 90 degree turn on the end of the intake and it's got a grate or a screen system which you can see there and what this does this is preventing heavy debris from going inside the intake see when you get debris and stuff in the intake what can happen is it can damage the impeller which is basically the pump itself is what pulls the water in and when it does that of course you're not going to get any water flow uh, through the system and thus the waterfall is not going to work which obviously it's not um, but there's several things that can make the system go down now they can back flush the system they can reverse the polarity on it but even then if you get too much debris and sand and stuff in there then it's just gonna it's just gonna clog it up and it's just simply not gonna work but what are we looking for so we look at the snorkel we look to see if the grate is damaged just like we did on a previous video that we showed you guys where we had to replace the end grate on it but we're testing, you know, just looking for it. We're looking for damage. Looking at all the attachment points, all the bolts, all the bands and the straps that hold this thing into place. And we're just testing to see the condition of it. Uh, there you can, you just saw the other diver tell me that one of the bands had broke off. And that, that's kind of a given. You got that much force coming through there. That band's going to be broke off. And like I said, visibility is not that great today. Normally it is it's pretty decent. Now what I'm doing here is I'm actually waving my hand across the sand letting the current push some of the way so I can see and I'm, I'm trying to dig down to see how far we're going to have to actually dredge down. Now knowing this site personally um, I'm going to say anywhere between three to four feet is what we're going to have to be dredging out of this hole. Um, there you can see one of the bolts where the band actually comes over and secures. So there's a band, it's supposed to be a big metal band, it's probably two and a half, three inches wide, securing this thing down to the sled. Now, I say securing, it's 800 pounds, it's, it's not going anywhere, but um, it can turn, if you will. So, uh, we noticed right away that one of the bands is broke, it does need to be replaced, uh, and we're going to look at the whole system we're going to go up we're going to check the, uh, the wires the power wires that come down in the water and just see what needs to be done but i can go ahead and tell you right now this whole entire creek system needs to be dredged the sled needs to be pulled out the intake needs to be pulled out the impeller's probably bad on it um, that needs to be fixed and then once all that is done then of course it can be reinstalled and get going again but uh, as far as the inspection part of this job it's pretty much done at this point. We've done everything that we can do up to this point. All right, guys, so we got finished up a little bit faster than we thought we would. Unfortunately, couldn't repair the pump. Uh, the pump is completely buried in the sand, and the dredge that we've got is big enough. The problem is, is our hoses are not long enough to uh, go out and uh, reach where we need. So the golf course is actually going to rent a different dredge with longer hoses, and we're going to come back on a different day, dredge it out, 
get that sled unattached to the sleds, the actual unit that the water pump sets on and um, get it pulled up or uninstalled for them, disassembled, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, they'll get it repaired and then we'll come back a third day and actually reinstall it for them. But sometimes that's how these jobs go. A lot of times we come out, we inspect, we tell them what's wrong and then we plan a day to come in and help them fix. And then we plan a third day to go back and reassemble it. That's just part of the gig. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. It's time for lunch. So I'm gonna get up the road here, give me a bite to eat and go on about my day. That's gonna be it for today's video. Till our next one, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.